Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Bome and I am part of the Transportation Operations class at Ivy Tech Community College. It is April 30th, 2023, and today we are going to be talking about the International Air Transport Association Dangerous Goods Regulations. Now, I work at the uh, Indianapolis Airport for FedEx, so I have to deal with these air dangerous goods regulations a lot. Now, these dangerous goods regulations are not just for the air transportation, but that is what we are going to be talking about today because that is what I'm more familiar with and I work with it every day. Now, I am not a dangerous goods agent, which is who normally makes sure that these goods get to its destination, destination in a safe manner, but I do work with them on a daily basis so I'm kind of familiar with what they are and what they do now some of the rules in this dangerous good regulations include limitations like what can and cannot go on a plane or how much can go on because for example for dry ice only a certain amount of weight is allowed on a one given plane because if you have too much, it will be deemed unsafe. Now, these dangerous goods also have classifications. So, some of the classifications include explosives. Uh, we have radioactive materials. We have uh, toxic, toxic materials, dry ice, uh, flammable and non-flammable. Those are just some of the classifications for this. Another thing that would be involved in the dangerous good regulations would be the packing instructions and the packing specifications. So basically these help the employees with what and where to put these dangerous goods on a plane. Because some of these dangerous goods cannot be stored within like 10 feet of each other, like some flammable and some like radioactive materials, they have to be separated on the plane. They cannot be touching or close to each other because that would be deemed unsafe. Um, I wanted to learn more about the dangerous goods agents and that's why I chose to do this because I uh, I've been thinking about maybe taking the class to become a dangerous goods agent and I thought this would be a great start in figuring out how to do that now through this I've learned that um, for example the dry ice I didn't know that only a certain amount could be put on each plane I did not realize that before before this. I also did not realize that the dangerous goods regulations are not permitted to be less restrictive than the law. Or in other words, companies that are transporting dangerous goods through the air must obey these regulations or they could face consequences not only lawfully but like from a safety side of things. Um, these goods are called dangerous goods for a reason and they have regulations in order for companies to safely transport these dangerous goods to the desired destination in a timely manner as well as in a safe manner so that the goods are in, uh, have good quality and that the plane is not in danger of being harmed in the transportation process. Hopefully after this, you will realize why the dangerous goods regulations are so important to companies across the globe. With these regulations, companies can be confident that their employees and equipment will stay safe and that the freight will be transported to its destination in a safe manner.